So your man's zero snitch. Like I told y'all, y'all tried to say he wasn't, but he was writing the whole interview. He gave statements. The police took those statements. You said you had your stuff took and all that and everything like that. So you not street anymore. You don't tell. Bro, you don't tell that zero. You you lame, bro. I don't care that you got robbed. You ended up getting it back anyway. So, bro, you man. Out on bar. Shout out to Rio. Out on bail bar. Make sure y'all get out, man. Keep God first. A fame met with complaining on September 20, 2022, where he provided a statement about the assault and theft of his jewelry coming from the video posted online was an assault on him by the defendants that he later identified. The complainant stated he arrived at the restaurant Kim Sung after 10 p.m. back on August 27, 2022, and went inside to meet with an artist on his label. The complainant stated he later walked out of the building and observed a group of guys outside and noticed Trader Truth, identified as Defendant Thomas. Within said group, complainant stated he began taking photos with some of the fans, and he was approached by a trader who advised him once he got done taking photos to meet with him. Complainant stated he later went to meet with Trey, who was standing next to a sprinter van outside in the parking lot. Complainant stated upon meeting with Trey that he was sucker punched by Trey. Complainant stated at that point, several more jumped in, and he was thrown to the ground by someone. Complainant stated as he was on the ground that his jewelry came off, and that they took his jewelry. Complainant stated his sunglasses, watch, and bracelet were taken. Complainant stated he was later able to get up and notice uniformed officers keeping him separated from the defendants who had assaulted him. Complainant stated that Trey punched him and that he suffered an injury to his eye. On video, the complainant stated that his jewelry consisting of the watch and bracelet was later returned to him around three days later by an acquaintance who the complainant knew as Mike D, who was not a witness to the incident, who had been given the items by the co-defendant Thompson. The complainant advised your faint that he did not know the defendant personally and was only able to provide his Instagram account name as D-Bugs. Your faint was later able to gather the name of the defendants as marked out after gathering his phone number from his email account linked to his Instagram account. Your faint ran to the defendant's phone number through the clear database that provides real-time data that showed the listed numbers belonging to Dwayne Lee Bugs with date of birth scratched out. Your faint found a current mugshot photo SO1572963 on the defendant in the HCDAO mugshot database and created a photo array consisting of five other males with similar facial features. Officer L. Castellinos presented the photo array to the complainant on 11-8-2022, and the complainant positively identified the defendants as the person responsible for engaging in the insult on him with the other defendants and the person who took his bracelet. Oh, the law loves snitches. Yeah, the law loves snitches, and you one of them. I had to play that song for you. I used to like that song, too. And, uh, but whatever. You got beat up. Got your feelings hurt. Got that part. Got your jewelry took. Got that part. Got your jewelry returned to in a couple of days. What's the problem? You scared. That's all that is, bro. You scared. You scary. All that, all that, all that, all that, that, that toughing and everything like that, bro. That ain't it. Now, whatever, you know, you claim you mess with, with you know, with, with the cats out there and everything like that. The static out there ain't the same as the static in L.A., but street dudes are still street dudes. You broke code. You look lame. But let me get on Trade the Truth, too. You had no business jumping that bad. None. I get it. Ain't no one-on-ones no more. I overstand that part, but this is what happens now these days. These cats ain't real as they pretend to be. I liked what Trade the Truth did, but you acting like a street dude. And if it was really static like that, homie, then why he had to walk to the back and then you punch on him? But then you act like you didn't do anything. And I told y'all, and then I was looking at Cuz's shirt being pulled on. I'm like, bruh, I know what that is. So you started it. They followed you. This is what you get. Do I agree with Cuz snitching? Nope. 
But, hey, suffer the consequences of your action. You can't play advocate and street dude. Like I told y'all in the very first vi video I dropped, can't have one foot in and one foot out. You will mess up. You will get caught. So, more than likely, you're going to sit it down for a little bit, do anger management, and zero, you might as well just sue him. Do it. Let's see what happens. Y'all expect me to keep it real? Because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street of Music, Setty Nash, if you have not. It's on all streaming platforms. Guaranteed you're going to find something you like. Probably like that overly thugging freestyle. Or maybe something different. Let me know in the comments. We possibly shoot that music video.